Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the third video. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to drift around the normal drift track that's in uh, Seto Corsa. Because of the updates, there are a lot of mods that aren't working. Although, there's a pretty sick mod that came out, the 180SX, and I might do a video on that later, or just like a little video without a uh, voiceover commentating. But um, yeah, so off today, we're going to need... Um, the normal setup that I showed you guys in the second episode, if you want to see it right now, you can pause the video. Okay, so we tweaked the little settings, but hey, you can see it in the second episode. Um, I hope you guys can hear me clearly. I've been away for a little while. I made this DIY handbrake. Um, I also have been busy for school, so that's why I'm just going to um, spin my tires around a little so that I get a little warm. I don't know why, but they feel sliding better if they're a little hot or a little gone. Okay, so this should be good. Um, for this track, we're going to need second to third gear, third gear mostly. And I'm going to do a lap around so you can see how I do the track, like inside the cockpit view. Um, I might do a video on 360 entries later or on the 180SX uh, car. But for today, or yeah, for this episode, I'm just going to show you guys how to drift around this track. Um, the key to mastering this track is to stay with the front end of the car uh, to the inside of the corners, so you don't uh, spin out. So you don't spin out like this. You see, you have to get a clean line and um, stay as close as possible into the inner curb of the corner. Um, for this long one, this is like the hardest, in my opinion, to master. You see, I'm, I'm going over the curb right now. So that's like the one that's a little tricky. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So for the whole track, it's pretty straightforward. You just need to get the rear end out and stay as close to the inner curb like this. So you don't lose control. Um... You have to slam it into third gear on the long part and for this turn you have to like get an amount of angle right here then you handbrake it a little and clutch kick it again so here you have a little wall tap incoming didn't hit it though but yeah maybe I'll do a third person video on this as well or switch the camera later on in the video so you can see what I mean by getting the rear end out on specific positions but um, if you can combinate some corners and you follow this line, it should be pretty good. You get a little amount of angle right here in the third gear and you can slam your throttle. And if you see that you won't reach it, just handbrake it, clutch kick it again. I will try to do it clean next round. Um, but if you have your tire spinning out the whole time and your rear end out, you should be good in uh, third gear. You pull a little handbrake right here, put it into second gear and yeah. Just counter steer and throttle it, don't throttle it so you can get grip again like I said in the second video. And that's basically it. It ain't that hard, it's just, it takes an amount of practice to get it done good. You see, as I slam it into the wall right here. Um, so I'm going to change the view so you guys can see properly what I mean by getting some angle at a specific position. So, you want to like get your car to here on this kind of piece of asphalt you pull your e-brake and stay as horizontal with the wheels as possible to the inner curb and just try to get some nice power slides out of the corners as well so this will be a pretty good one you saw as I never mind as I fuck it up <clears throat> That's my friend asking a question, but hey, I'm going to answer that later. So third gear it, you get your rear end out right here. You kind of step back a little, brake it into second gear, clutch kick it again, throttle it, don't throttle it, so you get grip. And on the like the really long part, just you put it into third gear, just let it slide around a little. Right here, I'm going to master it right now as you can see and I didn't hit the wall so yeah guys that's basically it if you follow my line and you get your rear ends out at the same exact position as I do 
and counter steer at just the right time so like you get the rear end out right here on the asphalt you get back again you slow down a little pull e-brake second gear it clutch kick it so you get sliding again third gear for long parts here you go left right left like in a really long distance you get some angle over here if you don't reach it you can just pull the e-brake and then clutch kick it later um, if you're too slow and losing grip you can always do this so you can go back to second gear and get a little more throttle to go more sideways you can also adjust the position of your car with the brake if you brake you see you can adjust the position or like angle where you're sliding and once you master this track you're good for all the other tracks I might do a video like I said on um, 360 entries as I'm going to do one right now after this corner um, but hey that's basically it guys really once you master some drifts and some combinations it's pretty straightforward on how to do other tracks so I'm going to try to do this not sure if it will work you see didn't work this time but I can do a tutorial on that later as I showed you in the last episode um, and yeah stay tuned for some more content on the channel um, I might be doing just some like non voice tutorials um, whatever videos so you, you guys get some content and maybe you'll enjoy it I don't know I'm not always on a set of courts because I also play other games like Counter-Strike I'm pretty good at that as well so if you guys like it you can ask me to post uh, another channel with some videos of that and other than that there's nothing much you can check out this video over and over again so you can see where I'm like getting my angles and sliding at specific moments and just try to copy that with the same setup you should be good um, and hey here's a wall tap and that's it so if you want to stay tuned for other tutorials other videos or content whatever you subscribe as you know um, if you learned something or enjoyed the video please press the like button and if you didn't dislike it say me what was wrong or tell to me what was wrong excuse me for my English as I'm not American or English but um, yeah that's it guys see you later